Hello everyone, Subject Zero here. You've probably heard about graphene, but have you heard about graphene? Yes, the name is a bit derivative and lacks originality, but hey, I didn't name it, so get over it. Anyway, the idea is based on a theory back in the day around how carbon atoms can connect to each other in many different ways. So, you know very well by now that carbon can make four bonds, and that means that it can connect to four other carbon atoms. The idea then came from graphite when they discovered that it was nothing more than atoms connected in a hexagonal pattern, so making a huge sheet of graphite and you get graphene. The bonds are so close together that they are really strong and just to give you an idea, a single carbon bond is 346 kilojoules per mole, two bonds and you get 602 and three bonds 835. It's one of the strongest bonds you can get while still having a fourth one available to continue the chain, hence where they got the idea for carbine. Watch my last video. But what is graphene? And that's simple really, it's a mix of graphene and carbine. There are a lot of depictions out there about this one, but to make things simple, just picture a sheet of atoms where instead of a hexagonal pattern with single atoms, you have something like this. The idea here is that you have chains of carbon connected by 3 to 1 bonds, which makes the chain super strong. Now the problem is that because all of the bonds are taken, you can only make a chain with it. But if you introduce a benzene or a carbon hexagon, you can actually create a sheet of this stuff. The closer they are to each other, the stronger they are, so in this case we would have something like this. Graphene 1, which has one C3C1 chain, carbine 2, which has two of them, and 3, which has 3, and 4 which has 4 and 5 for 5, so you get the picture. But why is it stronger than graphene or carbine? That is due to the amount of 3 bonded connections in between carbons along with some graphene components to it. Basically, you have the best of both worlds combined in one sheet. It is stronger than graphene because of the triple bonds. And it is stronger than carbine because you have many chains connected to each other forming a sheet and that can handle a lot more stress instead of a single chain. Just for you to understand this, going back to the bonds energy, you need about 346 kilojoules per mole for one bond and about 835 kilojoules per mole for three bonds. See the difference? Now, the problem is that graphene is something that is really hard to make and most likely we won't see it for many years to come. However, scientists have theorized that the compound would be at a minimum 40 times stronger than graphene, beating carbine by a factor of more than three. But take this number with a grain of salt because these numbers haven't been tested yet. Like I said, this is only a theory. Alright folks, that's it, we're done here.